up until fairly recently, Matrix has had the exact same problem that IRC has had since the day it was created, which is you don't really have a concept of related rooms. So what I mean by this is let's take Discord, for example. In my Discord server, I have a general chat, I have a Linux chat, I have a programming chat, and Discord makes it very, very obvious that all of these things are related together. And while I could go and make Brody's general, Brody's Linux, and Brody's programming over on Matrix, and actually have have gone and done so, unless you already know they exist and know that I'm the one running them, it's really hard to work out that all of those chats are actually related together. While this is perfectly fine for, say, a programming project or a distro project where the entire topic is that thing, so say the Arch Linux IRC or the Matrix IRC, that's a perfectly valid use case. For a more general community where you don't really have a specific topic you want to talk about, but you still want to make sure the different chats are actually segregated from each other, it's really useful to have that grouping functionality. So finally, after four years of development, matrix spaces are finally in beta. So a matrix space is supposed to be a replacement for a matrix community. Now, what the communities basically were, were a way to do grouping, but it was the most rudimentary grouping possible. Basically think about it like a folder of rooms. You couldn't do things like community-wide moderation, so if you wanted to make someone a mod, you would have to go and mod them in each of the individual rooms, and then if you wanted to ban someone from your community, you'd have to ban them individually from every room, which was really inconvenient, especially if you're doing something like bridging a Discord server over where it's fairly normal to have upwards of 10 rooms. So this change isn't going to affect any of your rooms. They will continue to work exactly the same way. If they've been bridged, nothing's going to change there. What is just changing is the way the grouping is being done. So rather than looking at this article, let's have a look at what spaces can actually do. Now, before you can actually use spaces, you need to make sure that you're actually in the spaces beta. You're also going to have to be using Element because I don't think any of the other clients actually support these yet. So if we go into our user menu and go into all settings, go down to labs, then there'll be an option here to actually go and enter the beta. And at any point in time, you can leave the beta if things just completely break and you want to go back to what you had before. Now, even though it's been about two weeks since this functionality has been enabled, some home servers may not have updated to the point where you can actually see this page. In which case, there's nothing you can really do, but if you're on things like Matrix.org, that has obviously updated, or any of the big servers have probably updated as well. Or, you know, if you're running your own, just go and update your server. One of the first noticeable changes is you no longer have to go and right-click on the group, and then click on View Community to actually see it. Now, it's actually designed by someone who understands UI design, and you can just go and left-click on it, and it will open up that group. Now, this page right here, I guess you would call something like the Space Summary or the Space Homepage. What this basically does is serves the exact same purpose as the Community Homepage as a place where you can go and put things like the rules. So this text right here is something I set myself. Clicking on the cog here, we can actually go and modify that. I could put like a welcome message there if I wanted to. Basically, any text I wanted. Also, it goes and lists out every single room currently inside of the space. If you ever want to get back to this page once you're inside of a room, what you go and do is click on Explore Rooms, and that'll take you right back. There is also a feedback button here, so if you want to go and give feedback on the beta, please go and do so because the developers will very much appreciate it. One of the really, really big improvements with spaces is when you're currently clicked on a space, if you go to your rooms list, it will only show you rooms currently inside of that space. In communities, they didn't work like that. The only way to see what rooms were actually inside of the community was from the community homepage. That by itself is enough to make it better than a community. Now, what the people tab shows is the people that you've DM'd that are currently inside of the space. So if we go back to all rooms, as we can see, there's two extra people here which aren't on this list. I don't really care that much about this feature, but someone who DMs a lot of people might find this useful. Now, just like with communities, you don't actually need to own a room to put it into a space. Now, in the future, this will limit what you can actually do on the moderation front, so it won't let you do things like add a mod into a bunch of rooms that you don't own, but let's say you wanted to go and have, say, a private space where you group together all of your distro chats, so rather than having just a big long list of, like, Ubuntu and Arch and CentOS and an elementary 
put all of them into a group, and then if you want to see those, you can go and click on that group. So let's say I wanted to go and add, for example, Luke Smith's room into this space. Yes, Luke actually is on Matrix. I will leave a link to it in the description down below if you want to check it out. That's going to work perfectly fine, and then anyone else can go and do the same with their own personal space, and you can actually add this room into as many spaces as you want. You may have noticed something interesting on the add screen under the rooms. Feeling experimental? You can add existing spaces to a space, basically letting you have nested spaces. Now, this is very beta. I cannot confirm or deny how well this experience is going to work for you, but from what I've tested, it seems to work perfectly fine. It seems to be counting the number of rooms inside of that space completely wrong. I don't know why. Beta software, I guess. I also don't know how much you can nest it without the application completely dying. So don't do anything crazy. As long as you're going like two or three levels deep, it should be fine. And now that I've actually added my test space into this space, it's actually no longer in my sidebar. The only way to see this is inside of this group. I don't know if it's intentionally supposed to act differently to a room, but that's just how the beta is currently functioning. And one annoying thing is there's no way to actually reorder these rooms, so there's no like reorder mode or anything like that. Basically, the order you get in here is the order you get, and it's not alphabetical order. I don't actually know what sort of order it's supposed to be. I don't think it's add order either, because I would have added general first. I don't know, it's, it, it needs a reorder mode. But we do have one little nice feature here. You might notice there's this little suggested thing. That's actually something I can go and add myself. So let's say I want to go and make the hardware chat and uh, GNU plus Linux both suggested. What I can do is mark both of those with the checkbox, click on mark as suggested, and as we can see, both of those are now suggested. It's just a nice way to give new members some idea of where they can go. Now, if you go and close this bar on the right-hand side, it's kind of unclear how you get it back. So while you're inside of a room, there will be little icons up the top here that let you do that. The way you bring it back over here, though, is a little bit weird. So you have to go and click on this line of people right here, and then it will reopen. Why is there not a dedicated button for it? I don't know. Now, while you can go and remove rooms from the space, they work the exact same way as removing suggested. You highlight them, click the remove button, works as you'd expect. There is still a serious problem with the way that rooms and spaces work in Matrix, and that is there's no way to actually delete them. So the way a deletion actually works is you have to make sure everybody actually leaves that space or leaves that room, and then it will be deleted. I would like to have a button that just automatically kicks everyone so the deletion can actually happen. Maybe there's something on the API side, but right now if we go into the settings, the only option I have is leave space and then view dev tools. So maybe if I dig through here, I could do it. But just having like a delete space button here wouldn't be that difficult. When you entered into the space beta, you may have noticed that the picture they showed showed some sort of explore screen. This explore screen doesn't currently exist. I, I don't know why this is the image they use. I hope this is coming soon because right now, joining a space is just as difficult as joining a community, where the only way to join it is by getting a link. There's no other option. That's literally the only option you get. And while this isn't essential, I would like some option to go and convert my existing community into a space so I don't have to go and remake everything from scratch. So this right here, I did have to go and remake, but I don't have a ton of rooms. Yeah, there's there are a few here, but if you have, say, 20 rooms, that might be a massive pain to do. Or if you have, say, a bunch of private communities where you have, like, different groupings for different things, remaking all of those would be a massive pain to do. But at least the process of making a space is fairly straightforward. So all you need to go and do is click on the create a space button here. It'll prompt you for it to be public or private, which can be changed later. And then you just need to give it a picture, which is optional, a name and a description, and you're good to go. And the dev see spaces as a turning point in the way that Matrix's architecture works. Rather than having communities and rooms being two completely separate entities, rooms are now a more generic data type and spaces are basically just a room. So rooms can be used to build things like a file system and a bunch of other cool functionality they have planned for the future. This does encourage them to make rooms as lightweight as possible, but one thing I hope is that they don't start spreading themselves too thin 
and shifting away from their core focus of being a really good chat application. But as it stands, it has made spaces possible. So right now, spaces are still very, very beta and you're very likely going to experience some bugs. I do have a link to join MySpace in the description down below, not MySpace, MySpace space, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It may not work, the first time you click on it. I've had a couple of people saying, hey, I just couldn't join. Try it again, try it another 10 times. Eventually it will work, assuming you do have the beta enabled. They're just a little bit buggy right now. I keep hearing some people say that Matrix is going to replace Discord. Matrix is still a very, very long way away from actually doing that, but this is one of the pieces you actually need to make that possible. So I think that's gonna be pretty much everything for me. But before I go, I would like to thank my supporters. So a special thank you to Joachim, Donald, Logan, Michael, Andre, Nathan, David, Carl, Will, Brennan, Chica, Bento, Jamie, Joseph, Josh, Mitchell, Peter Lee, Stephen T, Theroux, Tony Tushar, and all of my $2 supporters. If you'd like to go support work, the links down below to my Patreon, subscribe, star, leave a that sort of stuff. I've got my podcast, Tech Over Tea, available basically anywhere. I have a gaming channel, Brody Robertson Plays, where I play games twice a week. Come hang out, it's on YouTube and Twitch, and this channel is also available on Odyssey as well. So I think that's everything for me, and I'm out.